Welcome to the Warbird Mistress. This is London Calling. Today is Wednesday the 14th of August 1940 and these are the events of the day. Last night we saw little activity while today's weather was mainly cloudy with bright patches and some clouds over the channel. That hardly kept Jerry from keeping up his high intensity raids as at 11.40 hours a large formation of 80 U87 Stukas from 2 SDG-1 and 4 LG-1 came over the channel for, as they were forming over Calais with 100 BF-109s from JG-26. Scrambled were hurricanes of numbers 32 and 615 squadrons, and the Spitfires of numbers 65 and 610 squadrons. Meaning the enemy over the channel, one BF-109 was shot down, while three of our fighters were also lost. Two more of our boys were damaged, and the Goodwin lightship was attacked and sunk by the dive bombers. In addition, as a replay of the last war, eight Dover barrage balloons were shot down by the BF-109s diving on them from high altitudes before our boys could get to them. At a quarter past noon, fighter bombers of the Opponents Group at 210, those twin-engined Messerschmitt 110s, came in over wavetop level, kept close to the ground, and attacked RAF Manston. With the enemy's bombs and cannons exploding around, four hangars and three Blenheims were destroyed on the ground. Two BF-110s were shot down by our anti-aircraft boys, but the fighter bombers were not intercepted by our fighters. Coming in at higher altitudes later in the day, at 17.45 hours, Middle Wallop was attacked by a smaller formation, this time of Heinkel 111s from KG-55, and a single U-88 from one Lergeschwader 1. Despite being only a handful of medium bombers, a hangar was destroyed, three airmen were killed, and Spitfires of number 609 Squadron came in to break up the fight. Intercepting the enemy raiders, they shot down the U-88 as well as one of the Heinkels. Germany paid dearly for her acts today. Twenty aircraft were shot down and 35 pilots and airmen were lost. On our part, Britain and her allies lost four airmen and nine aircraft. Flying officer Peter Collard of London had joined the Auxiliary Air Force in late 1937, commissioned in February of 38. Promoted to flying officer on 4 of August last year, just before the war broke out, he entered full-time service on the 24th of that month. He flew with 615 Squadron to Mervie on the 15th of November from their base in Croydon. Despite having already undergone a conversion course to Hurricanes, he flew gladiators in France. It was not until April, only a few months ago, that the squadron received hurricanes. While in France, he destroyed a Henschel 126 on 15 May and one other enemy aircraft of unknown designation. After withdrawal from France, he had a probable Heinkel 111, a certain U87, and a shared Heinkel 59 to his credit. Today, he strapped on his hurricane and went into the melee over Dover. He was shot down at 12.45 hours, leading Red Section. Somewhere in the midst of that 200 aircraft dogfight, he crashed into the sea. His body will wash ashore on the 25th of August, and he was buried in Les Hommes Cemetery. He was awarded the DFC on 11th of August, 1940, but he will not be gazetted until the 23rd of August. He was noted for having taken part in almost every patrol undertaken by the squadron, as his citation reads. John Bull's six counties lost Cecil Robert Montgomery to the fight today. A native of Fermana, he joined the RAF on a short service commission in June 1939. He converted to Hurricanes and was posted to 615 Squadron on the 14th of May. However, today, he went missing in the melee over Dover and crashed into the sea. His body will not wash ashore until the 8th of September, and he too is to be buried in Les Ames Cemetery. From number 609 Squadron, Henry MacDonald Goodwin, a native of Hagley, Worcestershire, failed to come home in his Spitfire today. Assigned to the squadron on 21 May, he claimed an ME-110, damaged another one, and had two confirmed U-87s in the battle over Lyme Bay on the 12th and 13th of this month. His body will not wash ashore for a further 10 days, and he is to be buried in St. Cashin's Churchyard, Chelsea Corbett, Worcestershire. This is the second son that the Goodwins have given to our cause. His brother, Barry, was killed on the 24th of June, also serving as a pilot. He was 605 Squadron. For better or worse, his brother was not lost in combat, but to mechanical failure. He was 23, and is buried adjacent his brother, Chelsea Corbett. Finally, number 43 Squadron also has a lost hero today in the person of Herbert Francis Montgomery. He was last seen engaging a Heinkel 111 with his hurricane in the fight over Dover. The Hertfordshire native was a member of the Hampshire Aero Club and had been a hotel manager before the war. 
A member of the Volunteer Reserve since 1938 as an airman undergoing training as pilot, he was called up when Poland was invaded. He had only joined 43 Squadron on the 3rd of August. He was a fighter pilot for 11 days. His body will wash ashore at some point in the next few weeks, and he is to be buried in Solvi Solfait Camp adjacent to so many of his brethren. And that is all for today. Thank you, and good night. Thank you for tuning in to the Warbird Mistress. This is London Calling, a day-by-day detail of the Battle of Britain, and I hope that you subscribe, watch the playlist for new editions, and do check out other offerings on this channel. Subscriptions through Patreon and YouTube are more than welcome to keep this channel going. Thank you and take care.